Hello. Today we are going to talk about particles. Particles are very, very useful when you want to create some sort of special effects like rain, snow, fire, explosions, magic spells, fog, muzzle flash, those kind of effects. You will need particles. To start with, we create empty game object, PFX. Let's zero it out. To make particles, we actually need to add a component. So we add component called particle system. As soon as we do that, we will notice the particles start to emit. Currently they are purple color, but that's because we are missing material. Let's fix that. Scroll down to the renderer, click on it to expand. And then indeed in the material field, we have none. Let's just bring our turtle. First thing you will notice is that uh, this uh, sprites, they orient towards cameras. This to do with renderer render mode billboard. There are several. This can be like a vertical billboard, so you can from up and down you can see that it's actually a flat billboard. This can be horizontal billboard, which is the opposite from previous one. This can be stretched billboard. This way it will be stretched depending on the speed. Yeah, we can increase speed scale and then oh, fat turtles. And it also can be a mesh. But let's just focus on billboard for now. You will notice that uh, we have a duration set to five. We have looping enabled. So let's say we change this duration to one. Now you don't see any changes, but if we disable looping, it means our amateur will work for one minute, uh, for one second only. Let's simulate that. And then you can see that after playback time hits one, then no more emissions going on. But if we set looping, then everything is looping infinitely. We also have a pre-warm feature, which allows us to pre-warm, like pre-populate particles when scene is running, so that when you start scene, it already is raining. It's not like it starts to rain from the very beginning. So it's like the whole field is already covered by rain. We also have a delay, which is not that important for now. Uh, we have a lifetime, which means a particle will die after this time. And now it gets interesting. Notice this little triangle pointing downwards. You can also set it to curve or random between two constants. Let's choose random between two constants. Let's say this one we will leave to five and the start lifetime, let's put it to one for now. So now you can see that some particles, they disappear somewhere here, midway, and then some leave up until here. Start speed can also be randomized. Let's say one, five. You can do the same for size. You can set rotation. You can randomize rotation. Cover gravity is interesting one. Simulation space is uh, basically means that if it's local, it will move and rotate according to the parent transform. But if it's world, then it would not move and rotate after its parent. Emission means um, how many particles per second, I believe, it emits. We can say like 200, but remember, or 2000. Uh, remember, this might be like okay on your PC, but it can be a little bit challenging for mobile device to to run this amount. This might work okay when we are far away from the particles, but when we go close to them, then we generate massive amount of forward draw. Let me show what I mean by that. See here, like this hot area is overdraw. What that means is that many particles are being drawn on top of each other. And for mobile phones, this is just absolutely unacceptable. Your phone will die. And when you start to zoom in like, like this, then it gets even heavier because the whole screen is covered multiple times. It means your phone has to render your screen several times, which is expensive. So yeah, remember to be a little bit careful with particles. All right. Even my notebook is getting hot and noisy. All right, let's make it something more reasonable. Let's say 100 shape. Shape is amateur shape. So you can um, 
in case of cone you can adjust this let's say you want to make a little fountain let's rotate it like so minus 90 and of course we need a gravity so we enable gravity modifier and then we can increase speed let's say 5 to 10 and let's just adjust gravity modifier a little bit and this might be like a fountain for rain it will be better if we set this shape to let's say box and let's make it like 60 on x and i think it should be 60 on y as well yeah okay cool let's reset rotation i'll set it to 90 so it's pointing downwards and gravity yeah we can use gravity for now let's quickly create a material and assign this because there are so many objects we might want to check some cheaper shader for example this mobile additive should work like mobile particles additive should work just fine uh, let's apply it pfx go to renderer and drag this raindrop material over here one thing to keep in mind you can see that this texture it doesn't really have alpha and we are not setting alpha source but still it's transparent because this shader is additive well you cannot add black because it's zero it will only add things like if we check our put our json turtle but you can also see other json turtles behind it let me bring our background and you can clearly see the border so basically this sprite is just added on top of this image which is fine but if you don't want um, this to be additive, then you can go to Mobile, Particles, and then Alpha Blended. In this case, you can see everything just turns to be much more saturated and then opaque. This is definitely much cheaper than using a Unity Standard Shader. Select our PFX so we can preview Particles again. And I will just disable background for now. Let's select this one and then click on this white color field here. And then we open the gradient editor on top this is our transparency at the bottom this is our colors so what we can do is we can create another marker just click anywhere here you can also delete them just by dragging them down or create by clicking in this area so let's change color to something red so first our turtle will be normal color then it will turn to red and then we can also turn it to green if we want like so and then what you will see is that first our turtle is normal color then it turns red and then it goes green also we can play with opacity so let's create another marker keep it alpha 255 go here set alpha to zero and then do the same for the ending and now you will notice that our turtles they kind of very smoothly appear and then disappear we can also add um, rotation over a lifetime and then set it to random value let's say this is 360 and then this is minus 360 and then you will notice they start rotating let me decrease gravity a little bit let's set it to 0 0.2 and then start speed let's make it 2 and 5 and this way you can see rotation much better so as you can see um, particles are really fun instrument let's do one more interesting thing let's set this to one okay it's good let's set rate over time to zero and then we create bursts this it will be spawning particles in bursts obviously so what we can do is at zero we make 100 and then at 0 0.5 we make 1000 and let's just increase this to 5 so what will happen at uh, one second it will create this amount and then at 2.5 seconds it will create even more so every 2.5 seconds is going to like speed out all those Okay, I really hope this is useful to you. Let me know if you have questions in the comments or you have any suggestions. 
I would be happy to assist. All right, have fun. See you in the next lesson.